Hi everyone, Christina here. This is the first of two videos for you guys today. This first one I'm going to be creating a card and the second one I'm gonna do a little coloring. And this is all part of the Simus the Stamp Pure Sunshine Release Blog Hop. This first card that I'm doing, I'm featuring a couple different products. This first product I'm using is the new Gingham stencil. And this is a really, really intricate stencil. And I'm going to show you how you can use it um, to add two different colors to your uh, card or to your project and have it look a little bit more like realistic gingham. So I'm starting out with some Distress Ink and Peacock Feathers. And I'm very gently pouncing that blending tool on top of this stencil. This stencil has little itty bitty diagonal lines that can start to bend up if you start really um, pressing into the stencil. So I'm being really, really careful and just pouncing that on there. So after I've done it once, I'm lifting that off and I'm going to move the stencil so that those um, empty box areas are, um, or rather the solid block areas are right next to the solid inked areas. So you might have to kind of experiment with this a little bit to see what happens, but this is the way that I discovered looks really nice. So I'm taking some squeezed lemonade ink this time, and once again, I'm pouncing that on there. You'll notice that um, as I kind of rub it a little, a little tiny bit, I'm going in the direction of those diagonal lines. That's because I don't want to introduce any way for me to mess up the stencil because those little tiny diagonal lines will bend up and then you can completely ruin your stencil and it'll be really really hard to get a really good effect later on. So I've lifted that up and I moved it and now I've got that solid area, the solid part of the stamp, the solid square over the solid yellow. I'm just lifting this up to make sure it's in the right spot here. I noticed it was a little bit off register and it wasn't showing uh, quite as well as it could be. So I'm just going to slide this over a little bit and stick that back down to my grid mat here and resume inking the squeezed lemonade ink onto my cardstock here. This cardstock that I'm using is Nina uh, Solar White 80 Pound and it's a really, really nice smooth all-purpose white cardstock. So I'm just inking on that yellow. Let's lift up the stencil and you'll be able to see the really cool gingham effect that takes place when you use this stencil with two colors. I think it looks really kind of neat. And if you wanted to, you could even do one more step where you add a little bit more peacock feathers. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm working on my card base. This color of cardstock is called Fog, and it is also from Simon Says Stamp. I'm just scoring that at five and a half. This is going to be a side folding card. It's going to look like a vertical card for a little bit until I put the card together, but then it will be landscape. I'm using another stamp set from the release, and there's this little itty bitty line of text that I thought would look nice, and I'm just inking up my stamp with some First and Mark ink. I did prep the white cardstock with a powder bag before stamping because I'm going to be embossing with some white embossing powder. So I'm just stamping that greeting onto my little strip of uh, cardstock here, adding some Hero Arts white embossing powder, and then I'll be heat setting it with my heat tool just until it melts and the surface of those letters are glossy. Now I'm bringing in my craft tool and I'm going to be inking up this strip with more peacock feathers. I did it this way because I really wanted the paper to match that stenciling that I'd already done. And so um, the embossing here resists any of the ink and it looks like I have some blue cardstock here that I've embossed in white over the top, but really it was all white cardstock to begin with. So kind of a cool effect. So now I'm going to start um, putting the card together and I need to finish the greeting. So I'm going to die cut this word sunshine from the sun and sunshine die set. It coordinates with that stamp set I showed you earlier. It has some pieces that directly match the stamp images, but this word sunshine is just kind of in that die set as an extra bonus. So I'm adhering the gingham piece with some foam tape. Then I adhered my peacock feather strip as well, I'm adding some dots of adhesive to that sunshine die cut and adhering that straight down onto the line. Now I knew I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle or a little more detail to this card, so I thought it'd be fun to bring in some sequins. So I have this stash of sequins of a bunch of different colors. I don't even know what brand they're from, but it's kind of fun because you can mix and match the colors and the sizes and then adhere them to your card. 
The best way to adhere sequins I've discovered is to use some Ranger multi matte medium. It's a um, has a lot of multi purpose. It's a really multi use type of product. In this case today, I'm using it as an adhesive, and I'm picking up each one of those sequins with a Lifestyle Crafts Quick Sticks tool. It's this cool gadget that has kind of like a sticky goobery point on it, and so it allows you to pick up those sequins add a little bit of that matte multimedium and then bring it back over to your project. And the tool I'm using in my left hand actually goes into the top of that quick sticks tool. So that is the card for this video. And I do have an additional video for you to check out. Um, I'll have a link to it at the very end of this video for you to click over and start watching that video. Okay, here's the link for the other video for today. I'm going to show a little bit of coloring on the new princess stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. So I hope you will join me over there and I will see you in a few.